So let's proceed. So we can do this. Let's create another history. And then this time we are going to import parent data. So I'll just click this. Let me do this. I'll click on the history again. And then I'll get a new one. I'll say SRA data sets. I'll say parent. And then I'll move to that particular one, which is, let's check. It's this one here. All right, so this is a paired in it, it's Illumina. Okay, so it's still the same isolate. Okay, so the same isolate, we had the nanopore data and we also had the Illumina reads. So I'll even link the paper as well. The link to the paper that generated this data is available, so you can use that. All right. So let's do so we are going to import. So again, we need the accession ID. So there's the accession ID. So you can just copy it. Now this paired end. So you can just copy it. Let me just recopy again. Yeah, again, the link to this page is in the description box. So just check the description box, all the useful links, all the materials will be there. So don't worry, just go there and then just take it. So I'll copy it and I'll move to the Galaxy terminal. Yeah, Galaxy platform. You know, I've been using the terminal a lot, so sometimes I miss them, but there's a platform. Anyway, let's continue. So we have our paired end data sets. So again, come here. We already selected a tool, but if you've not done that, search using SRE. Or you can also search, you can see faster download. And then you can just click to select the two. All right. So now we are dealing with paired end data. All right. So again, it's the same thing when you come to SRR session. That's what you need to have because we are dealing with a single sample, by the way. And then when you come to a session and you just paste it there, and then just come to click run two. There are other things you can do, but I mean, for now, that's what we are going to do. So just click on run to, and then you can wait for everything to get imported for you. All right, so you have the outputs here. And then what we are going to see with this data is that the single end will be zero, and then the pair then will have one. All right, so let's wait for everything to get done for us. Okay, the pair then data has been imported. So we see the outputs here. Now, because the session ID, has been linked to a paired end data. We have the paired end data set collection populated. So you can click it and then you have the ID here. You can click it again and then you see your forward and reverse. Now let's get back to the main history. The single end data collection, there's nothing in it. It says a list with zero data set because there's no single end data available for this accession ID. All right, so that's what we have. 